What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm yours truly. Okay, I'm back. So guys, can't find no white dove soap, but I did find this pink dove soap. It's perfumey, smells perfumey, so I don't know if I should just like wet my face instead of just using this bar soap. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe my face. Um, Cause I don't wanna like break out with just like a perfumey soap, you know what I mean? Let me bring it over here real fast. Ah! Save. Okay guys, I don't know where I'm gonna put y'all. Oh, there's nowhere to put y'all in this. I'm gonna put y'all. Can see me right there? It's Mother's Day. I'm going to surprise my mom for Mother's Day. That's one of the videos y'all gonna be expecting. Um, I'm not gonna say what, cause it wouldn't be much of a surprise then. But um, I just dropped my new intro yesterday, so y'all go check that out. Link will be in the description. I'm gonna start shorting down my description a little bit cause I've been putting in a little too much, but you know, I'm gonna start shorting it down a little bit. Um, the fruit roll-up challenge, chocolate, wait, let me not say the pranks, but it just know there's pranks coming too. Um, iPhone XR unboxing, I'm going to do my best to do that. Um, Disney iPhone XR unboxing, I have all the cases ready so I can do that, but I don't have the phone, so why would I do that? I mean, I could still do it. Um, then just be looking out for the iPhone XR unboxing. Yeah, so basically, I have a little bit of things growing down right now. I don't have, like, a lot. I got my face dry, guys. Um, and yeah, so... We're just gonna... Get some of this, and we're gonna start putting it on our face. On oh, my face. I'm gonna start putting it on my face, because... Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> So guys, should I just tell y'all story time? Because I don't know what to talk about. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all story time. So, story time is going to be about when me and my best friend almost got arrested. It was literally... Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! Uh, April, March, February, January. Okay, so it was four months ago. Four months ago, me and my best friend almost got arrested because I'm gonna start out. So she had came over, she had came down from out of town where she lives now in Corpus. Um, and basically what happened was she literally, we literally, every time we get together, we'd like to walk around town. Like we just take off walking from our, our house. like. When she used to live here, I used to, you know, I used to sneak, not sneak, but just like walk. Just get out the house and start walking places. Or here, we would just get out the house and start walking places. So, she came and I was like, I already have a plan up my sleeve. Do you want to go walking? Like, you know, I was like, girl, you know what we always do? We gotta go. And she was like, so I just, are you kidding me? Like, cause like my mom told us, had told me, my mom and dad had told me, like when, before she had even came from Corpus, that we better not be like sneaking out and trying to walk off. So I was like, we're not gonna do that. Like I told my mom and dad, like don't worry about it. <sighs> we did it. We did it, sis. Um, and, but I was getting drunk. So I thought it was smart to do it that day because like when he's drunk, he don't drive. And he's like, Strict, strict on that. So, I was like, man, that's drinking, so let's just do it, bro. Let's just, like, leave. I'm a savage. She was like, she was like, are you drinking? Like, she was like, are you sure? Like, but, like, she's always, like, with it. Like, she's always down to do, like, we're both always down to do something with each other. Like, just, like, do something crazy. So, we're like, okay, bet. 
So I told my dad, um, it was like eight or seven. I told my dad, oh, hey guys, we're going. I said, dad, we're gonna go to this little store. And he, he was like, oh no, no, no. I don't trust you, you're not gonna come back home. And I was like, dad, really? He was like, we're gonna come back. I was like, we're gonna come back. But you really don't trust me. He was like, no. He didn't trust me at all. So, eventually he was like, okay, fine, you can go, but you better go there and come back. Bro, tell me why. We did go to that store, we got a drink. And I go, I go, right, let's, let's go to um, Walmart. Walmart's like way across town. We literally we walked to Walmart. But we went through the way. Um, so there's this like skate park. We have to like cross the bridge, and we have to go past the Circle K, go through a back road, and go through these like house suburbs, and they lead you out towards like where Walmart is. So we walked through there, and we're we're just taking our time walking, guys. We literally was like just taking our time. It was already like. 8.50, probably 9. Um, we were like literally walking. We were like, we, were, we got to Walmart. We were like started walking around. We started getting a little bit of stuff, like shopping. And then, me and her thought it was a bright idea to go to the freaking, to go freaking somewhere where we weren't supposed to. We walked to a, well, we walked Towards like the food bank, which is like way on another side of town, like we're past Walmart. So we walk on the other side of town, and when we get there, we go and we sit in front of the food bank, hoping we would see somebody that we were going to see, like my our, my cousin. And yeah, so we were just like going, like go hang out with somebody. Like we wanted to hang out with somebody, so we were bored. So we we're like hoping we see him. So when we were over there, I'm not gonna say his name, but. We saw him like walking to the store. He's always like crazy. So um, when he was walking, I was like, "Oh, I was like, oh, that's him, that's him, that's my cousin." Um, she was like, "She was like, oh my God, Joseph, shut up, nobody." And we were like, we were like so scared because um, he looked drunk, so we were like scared. We were like, Ugh. Um, so when we saw him, I called his name and he was like, "What's up, bro?" He thought I was somebody else. Like he thought some you know, I was somebody that he had beef with. So he walked up to us like all badass. He was like, What's up, bro? And I was like, I was like, my, 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 he's gonna fuck us up. And she was like, Stop this, stop this, he's gonna fuck you up. And I was like, dude, Mariah, stop, I'm scared. He and he noticed who we were and he was like, Oh, what's up? And I was like, Do you even know who I am? Cause like I've never, so he's my cousin, right? This is so weird, it's gonna be so weird. He's my cousin, but I've never seen him in person. I've only seen him like twice in person, we never talked. So that one time, that was our first time talking, like a full on conversation. So I was like, do you even like know who I am? And he was like, yes, Joseph. And I was like, oh shit, I was stupid. Why would I ask that? Um, and then, I already know who that is. And she was like, he was like, He's like, Mariah, we've met before. And I was like, oh, he, I'm, like, I'm so stupid. Like, I ask the dumbest questions sometimes. Um, so we were sitting there with him, and you're like, you, we were like, you want to hang out? You want to walk to the Mill Bridge? Mind you, we walked from my house, which is like way on the other side of town, through the back of these houses to Walmart, way over there. And then we walked all the way to the food bank, which was like even farther, like, 20 minutes away from Walmart, and then we walk back. Not even 20, well if you're in, maybe if you're walking it's like 20, but like, or like 15, 10. But like, if you're like driving, it's probably like two minutes or five. But, um, to where we were going to the food bank, from Walmart to the food bank, it's like five. But, when you're walking, it's kind of far. So, we were walking from the food bank to the mill bridge. Um, if you don't know where the Mill Bridge is, it's like a bridge um, in New Braunfels, Texas, if you don't know where that's at. But, um, yeah, so we start walking to the Mill Bridge, and, God, when we got to the Mill Bridge, 
they were playing too much. Like we were just like walking around the whole night. And like, there's like a, there's like abandoned houses in the back, abandoned buildings in the back where the mill bridge is. Walking on there was really late. There were like people like I think I don't know if they were homeless or just like they were just like out. Crazy shit come out. Um, crazy people come out or like crazy shit happens, you know, at night basically. So so there were like there were like people like coming back and forth from the bridge and I was like, bro, I'm scared and like we were like just on the bridge, bro. Mind you that bridge is like really shaky. We were so scared we thought it was gonna break. Tell me why my cousin thought it was okay to get over it. So there was a bridge and then you can like he like climbed over the other side like where the water was and I was like, Oh my god, I was like, bro, get off of there because like you're gonna fall and I'm gonna know what to tell your mom, we're gonna have to walk back all the way back to your apartment, which I don't even know where you live, I would have to find out and I would have to ask. Like like it would be so bad. So after the mill bridge we started walking back. We started I was like, Well, we better go. Like it was already like five hours or yeah, five or six hours that we've been gone from home. So then when we were walking back, we kept seeing cops like pass us back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, oh shit, Mariah, like I think my mom caught the cops. Like I was scared. Well, I didn't think, I was just like, oh my God, like I think we have curfew. Like we can't be out here this late. I was 17 when this happened, I'm 18 now. But, um, so I was like, oh my Mariah, like we can't be out this late on things again. She's a minor, so she's like only 16. So I was scared. I think my cousin's 18. 17, I don't know what he is. Um, I think right now he's 18. I think he was like 17. So, we were, we were walking back, we were walking back home, and we were walking back to take him home. And when we were walking back to take him home, um, we kept seeing cops, they kept passing us up. Then, after we dropped them off, we were by ourselves, like we were walking through the back road. Cops kept passing us up again, over and over. We were so scared. Guys, this mask is like really hard right now. I don't know how to peel this off either. Mm, I'm scared. Um, but yeah, so we were like walking back and y'all tell me why the hell. So I got so scared because this cop, he literally almost ran me over. He like went into the grass, he was like, he just like pulled in front of me and I was like, Ooh! like I put my hands up, I was so scared. Mariah was like, oh my gosh, Joseph, 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 what's happening? But then she's like, she's like really like smart mouth with the cops. So she started like, when they got all there, like, where are y'all going? Um, you were reported as runaways, like all this stuff. They were checking me because I had my hands in my pocket. Like I was scared. So like whenever I get scared, I like, just put my hands in my jacket. And they were like checking me and they were like, do you have a weapon? They put me on the top of the car to check me, like a pat down. They took all my stuff away. My best friend was there talking mess to them. There was like four or five cop cars there. Um, and her grandma pulled up with her little brother and um, the cop told her that they were gonna arrest us because my, friend, my best friend was being too feisty with them. I was like, girl, like I wanted to like hit her with my elbow and be like, shut the fuck up, Mariah, because I was so scared. She was like, they were like, where are y'all going? And she was like, we were just going to McDonald's to get Wi-Fi. Like, she was like, all being all sassy. And I was like, girl, I was like, you need to calm down. You're going to cause. You're going to cause something that we don't need. Like, you're going to make us go to jail. At least we didn't go to jail. Like, But they were pointing us as, they pointing us as runaway. And they, um, I could do not. I heard another, the other cop, one of the cops asked another cop. He was like, he's 17. What are we going to do with him? And I was like, what the fuck? Like, bitch, I didn't even say nothing. Like, why did they come coming from me? Like, the fuck? Like, I was just like being so polite. Like, I was just like, um, we weren't even running away. Like, why are we reported as runaways? So then my mom called the cops and they were like, yeah, she did. She, I would call the cops too if my son was out six hours or seven hours of the night. Got left at eight and it's already like three in the morning. It was like, it was like two in the morning, not even. Um, But I was like, oh my God, like, I was so, I was so nervous. I thought they were gonna take us in. Um, then my my best friend had to. We had to go on separate cars. I went into the cop car. They took me home. They went. My best friend went with the with her grandma because they didn't let her come with me. But she had to spend the night at her grandma's house that night because we were both in trouble. So, um, she, my mom and dad were 
my mom was crying. She thought somebody had kidnapped me. My dad was crying. He was hella drunk. He thought someone was gonna at me. He was gonna beat my ass when I got in. He was like, come here, boy. I was like, I was like, and then my friends walked in. So I was like, thank God, they saved my life. So um, after that, he didn't, he was like, just, you're not going out no more. No, 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 no. And eventually he gave in, he let me out. But yeah, that's, that's basically like what happened, guys. I ba we basically got arrested for not coming home really late. Poor as runaway, and yeah, that's the two. Yeah. I don't like those that much. Anyways, guys, so let's see how I, I peel this shit off. I really don't know where to. Ah, wait, wait, it's coming off. You see it? Uh. I'm probably gonna wear this mask every night before I go to bed. Oh, I'm pulling my hair. The hell? Ah. What the heck? Uh, well, it's really hard to get off. What the hell? Ah. <laughs> Guys, this is why the barber shops need to open up so I can shave my whole entire face already. There's just some right here. Oh, it's coming off easily. Wait, I'm gonna pull it off my forehead. Uh, uh, it's still not dry on my forehead. What the heck? I thought it dried. Oh, my nose. Oh, I think it dried on my nose already. Uh, guys, what the hell? This is a shitty mask. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to put more of this or what, but it's not coming off the way I thought it would. Okay, guys, I think this is going to conclude the video. Wait, let me try to pull off some of this. On this side. Ugh. I might just get in the shower and wash, my, wash it off, because this is going to take forever to get off. I think there's a lot. Got some of it off. Anyways, guys, so that's going to conclude this video. I hope y'all did enjoy this little story time. So it's this face mask, which kind of sucked ass, but it was whatever. See y'all next video. Till next time, yours truly is out. Peace.